hey beautiful people welcome back to our channel again so today we are going to talk about uh, super legalization of documents and where are you supposed to be using these documents well for those of you who will be studying in the czech republic this year or maybe next year or subsequent years we hope that the situation doesn't change you need to super legalize your documents remember in some of my videos my past videos i usually said that i usually say you need to start from your university you gather your certificates all right this is the procedure if you do not do this procedure you cannot study in the czech republic you go to your school gather your documents they should certify them then you gather all the documents you gather all the documents put them together take them to the ministry of foreign affairs for them to do legalization then you carry the documents to the czech embassy for them to do super legalization then after super legalization now you do what is called notification at the public notary and send the documents back to the czech republic this is the process that you need in detail this is now i'm just explaining this now for those that will be studying next year that will apply next year and subsequent years to come because those that already apply they should be in the process of doing this thing i'm talking about now if you didn't know i'm still going to talk about the real official statement from an official website so you should stay connected and make sure you watch the video to the end so you understand the process of super legalization now like i said it's super legalization before you send the documents back to the Czech Republic for them to translate them to Czech language, especially your medical certificate and, of course, your police report. Now, this is how the super legalization looks like. I am checking my Jota over here. And please, they say super legalization is a higher authentication of a public document, which confirms that the document was issued by the relevant authority. Of course, this is what it means super legalization is being done by verification of the signature stamps and official seals of the document so when you take them to the czech embassy they have to verify the stamps from the ministry of foreign affairs and those of your school in fact from the ministry of foreign affairs the ministry will verify the stamps from your school then when you take them to the Czech embassy, they will verify that of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to see all right then certain documents which are birth certificates marriage certificates, criminal record characters, university diplomas, etc. that are used and submitted in the Czech Republic for various reasons, e.g. marriage application and long-stay visas, are required to be super legalized. This is the process you need. They must be super legalized, e.g. and the documents in that comes that you have to super legalize them there are a list of countries there you should try to verify to see if your country of course almost all african countries or students that are going to be moving to the czech republic you must do super legalization all right including countries that are covered by the embassy of the czech republic in abuja where can it be done the super legalization one the embassy of the czech republic in abuja and when is the super legalization the days you can do it it can be done in abuja because the embassy is in abuja most african countries like those from benin central african republic gabon equatorial guinea cameroon they have to apply you have to apply for your visa from abuja nigeria at the czech embassy now for super legalization if you want to do it in abuja you have to do it monday and tuesdays 2 to 3 p.m submitting the documents then friday 2 to 3 p.m collecting the documents then super legalization of applicants for long-term visas may be done during the visa application submission so if you are going for a student permit or a student visa a long stay visa bachelor's master's and phd you will do your own during your submission process at the embassy i understand why they want to do so do you know why because they want to cut costs at your own section because they know those that are coming to abuja if they come and go if they come do super legalization and go back to their home countries they will spend more money so you have to just prepare and go on the day of your appointment they will do it and then you apply immediately for your visa then documents of cameroon origin can be super legalized at the 
Honorary Consulate of the Czech Republic in Douala. Guys, you have to check this uh, consulate is found around Bonapriso, those that are Cameroonians. If you obtain a certificate in Cameroon and you reside in Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, you have to bring the certificate back and super legalize it at the consulate in Cameroon in case you want to move to the Czech Republic. I am explaining this because I know some of you are in Dubai, UAE, Bahrain, Qatar and other countries in Europe. If you want to do that, then you have to bring the documents to the country of origin where it was obtained. All right. This is how the procedure is. Then requirements, original of the document. That is, it is not possible to super legalize certified or plain copy of the documents. It must be the original that was previously authenticated by a, a ministry of foreign affairs of a respective country of origin. So you must, thus documents to be super legalized must be brought in person to the embassy. Sending documents by post is not possible. And the documents must be the originals. All right. Though you will have other copies super legalized, of course, take the copies, then you put the originals and you carry them to the embassy. This is what they are trying to say. So you have to put this into consideration. It is very, very important. Then please pay attention to this. Birth certificate and marriage certificate must be brought by the owner only. Only the owner of the document. <laughs> Birth certificate and marriage certificate so that you would be able, they want to know they want to see you understand so that is why they need you to come in person in order to super legalize the submitted documents the embassy is entitled to require personal presence of the document holder or additional documentation proving the purpose of the use of the super legalized documents in the czech republic so if you want to do this you must be able to prove the reasons all right so they must see your offer letters and stuff like that then there is a fee attached to the documentation all right then let's look at the fee they say equivalence of 600 czech crown per super legalization that is paid in cash in naira according to the conversion rate then those in cameroon you have to pay now in cfa france i guess so but one document to be super legalized is 600 check crown i don't know how much it is you can do the conversion then you are going to see it so this is basically the process remember super legalization this is how it goes from your university you take the documents to the Ministry of foreign affairs then they will do legalization there then you carry them to the check embassy for super legalization after super legalization you bring them now back you do nostrification you do you photocopy them of the those that have been super legalized you photocopy them then you do nostrification to notify that they are the originals of the originals then you now send them to the czech republic for them to be translated especially when you are sending now you add your criminal record and your police character this is the process that you need to know all right translation i didn't talk about translation but of course i've been talking about it so you can verify some details and of course you are good to go i hope this will help somebody Till we meet again in another video. If you didn't know, my name is Milton. And today I want to talk about something someone asked me. The person asked, Milton, which visa is preferable? Is it a study visa, a visit visa, or a Schengen visa? First of all, let me say these visas are not the same. A study visa is a visa that permits you to enter into any particular country and stay for more than 90 days, okay? while a visit visa is a visa that permits you to enter a particular country and stay for less than 90 days and in some countries more than 90 days for example in canada you can stay with a visit visa for more than five months and maximum six months that's already more than 90 days and in europe some countries in europe you cannot stay with a visit visa for more than three months while a schengen visa it's a visa that permits you to move only within the European Union. And this visa, you cannot stay in Europe for more than 90 days. Now, it depends on the requirements that you have and also your budget. Which one is advantageous for me? If you ask me, I would say it depends on what you want to do. Are you going into that country as a tourist or you want to enter that country and stay for a longer duration if you intend to immigrate to that country and stay there for a very long time probably maybe establish yourself then i would suggest you take a student visa if you don't want to establish yourself you just want a vacation 
I would suggest you take a Schengen or visit visa. Now, which one is preferable? Like I said, it depends on where you are going to, what you are really looking at, and of course, the money you have. A student visa on an average is going to look very expensive. Not like going to look, it's very expensive to fund it because remember when you have an admissions letter to apply for the study permit or the study visa to any of these countries around the world, you need what is called proof of funds. In this case, you might need your mother or father or people to sponsor you. And of course, the money is not usually small money. And again, if you are going for a Schengen visa uh, or if you want to apply to visit a country for less than 90 days, maybe for some weeks or some days, you may not need too much money. Maximum, maybe two million, three million, you are good to go. But with a study visa, you will need more than this. All right. In order to document that you have money for living costs for at least one year of your study program and of course you also need to show that you have money to take care of all your bills because no country want liabilities so to me it depends on what you are looking at and looking at it if you really want to move abroad to establish yourself like i said take a study visa so that after you finish your studies you may just be going to uh, apply for maybe a job or maybe get what is called postgraduate work permit or maybe apply for a permanent job and of course you live in that country and after that you apply for permanent residency or citizenship but otherwise the cheapest one is the Schengen and the visit visas. I hope you understand till we meet again in another one.